So I done my Samhain altar and I redone it. I'm in love with it. I'm so happy. This is the first time where I think I've made an altar where I feel like it connects to what I'm going through. And I've been doing some mentoring with Witch Boss TV, which is Mina. And I'm excited. And she was, you know, giving me some things to really think about. And, <laughs> and I really was drawn to my altar first to do. And I've done some automatic writing. I have it in that notebook there. I'm going to try to start doing daily draws for myself, automatic writing, Reiki sessions on myself. I have been doing that. And I just feel really, really drawn to my altar. And usually I'm just like, it's there I give offerings, but I don't spend much time. And I don't feel connected to it. It's more like... It's mainly for the S-Bats and Sabbats and then just for my deities. And I really don't spend much time here. So I'm excited to start spending time. I got some Carmelian and some Black Onyx. I'm really working through my root chakra. Which she hit the nail on the head on that one because... I was doing some Reiki on my root chakra, and there was so much, I would almost say a lot of build-up energy there that I was, I thought it was coming from my mind, and I was like, whoa, it's actually coming from my root chakra. So I got my little doggy here, I got Ganesh, I got my crows here slash ravens for Morrigan. I got a sugar skull here for Samhain honoring ancestors. I also got Jesus right in this corner and Mother Mary. And then I got something fun on my altar. It's Mel from Descendants and I just really like her character. Uh, I kind of resonate with her deeply for some reason. And that's why I have it up there because it kind of, I guess, taps into my inner child. Um, I've always been a Disney fan, so that just really made me happy to put it up there. I got another raven there. My mom gave me that October 31st pumpkin decor and then also this raven LED candle. I love it. It goes all the time. I keep having to put batteries in it. And then I have Maria Laveau. I started working with her when I wanted to look more into my business. And she just came to me and kind of helped me through some things. And she's, you know, here once in a while. I, you know, try to off offer things to her and communicate with her when I can. I feel like she's not necessarily my matron. She's more of just a guide of mine. Morgan's my matron, and right now, um, Jesus is my patron slash Ganesh because he's always been there. And then I have my clear quartz. I've been working with these Skype sessions and mentoring sessions with Mina, and I don't know, every time I, I do a session with her, I feel very fizzy, <laughs> feel very alive, and I feel more grounded and connected. And not in a selfish way, it's more like a a very collective gratitude energy. And then I have, and here, I have Prayer Beads, the Magician from Power Femme on Etsy. And then I have a green Aventrine Heart in here as well with my Witch's Tarot. It's... I think it's a remake of it. It's a, you know, remake print. So it's not the actual deck, if that makes sense. I got it off eBay. Then I have a couple crystals from Moon Goddess Charm on Etsy. 
there is a rose quartz and also a blue cat's eye and then I have also my root which is high john root and then I have some incense burning in my little cauldron I also got that from Mina as well when she done a ritual kit for me the mirror I got from the dollar store and the mirror with where you set the tea lights I got that from my friend Alex Shaw I got my chicken foot from Conjured Cardia she's on Etsy no not on Etsy sorry she's on Instagram then I have some lilac here I found that I forgot I had and me and Mina were talking about that and um, I dried it and kept it on my altar and I just really like it. it's from my mom's lilac bush when it was really bloomed and then of course I got another clear quartz a little acorn and bay leaf then my dad made me this out of wood, which is really cool. And I got just a little bit of offerings there, you know. I got moon water that I infused. And I have a lot of tobacco flower oil on all my candles right now. I just felt really connected to that scent. And I got a little bit of touch of Christmas over there. <laughs> from the dollar store and then I got my tile here I really like this this is the pentagram and then wicked right there because I just really thought it's it's cool I just really like that my mom got me that as well so it's kind of a rundown of what I have on here I might have missed a couple things but the majority that's what it, it is and my intention is just to use this every day, come here, sit down, uh, do Reiki on myself, pull some cards, do some automatic writing, really work on my root chakra because I find that that's where a lot of my issues are coming from, which is funny that she said that when she was doing you know, a session with me because I have a lot of actually sacral chakra energies with it that is very difficult for me. So... In a way, I feel like they kind of play off of each other. And um, again, I just feel like a lot of the things that have been poking at my shadow and my memory and my mind with my anxiety and depression has been from my root. And that's causing a lot of issues with my sacral chakra. So, I'm just working on a lot with her. I'm very grateful I found the right mentor and I really connect with her. She's very sweet. I feel so much power behind her. And I see a lot of great things coming for her. And I'm just very blessed. And um, actually, like a little uh, fangirl moment here, I just feel really excited to work with her. And have that mutual um, respect and connection, which is really... In my opinion, it's very rare, I feel, especially in the community at times. Um, there is a lot of like-minded people, but to connect with someone that, you know, profoundly and want, you know, good things for each other and rooting for each other genuinely is very uh, rare, I feel. But that's just a look at my altar. You know, I hope to be back to do some draws for, you know, each zodiac for... The month of November. I'm hoping to do more content for my patron. Um, I'm not sure where I want to go with that yet. So there might be videos, a lot of videos I'm thinking, like get to know me, you know, do some channeling and automatic writing with me as a group. You know, I thought about doing some, you know, free video courses on how to tap to your own abilities. I, I just have a lot of ideas, but I'm not sure what my patrons want right now. So I feel spirit will guide me to that. And again, it's just right now I'm dealing with a lot of time management and feeling um, like I could fill up my own cup, like Mina said, before I start dispersing my energy and then also know that it's fine to take time to protect and ground 
before the day starts and then doing that after the day ends and you know giving back to myself and filling myself back up because I was going through a lot of I, burnout really I was just doing things to not really a distraction but I was like, why am I always tired, you know? And I was blaming it on other things that was outside of myself when it really was my own fault. But it wasn't really about the blame. It was more about the awareness. And I think when we had our last session a few days ago, that opened my eyes to what do I truly want? And she asked me that question, what my end goal was. And I was like... When she said that, it was more like, no, not what you've seen on Instagram, not what you've seen other people do. What do you want, you know? And so, I again, it's, I, I have a lot of shadow work to do, and I'm excited to start that. And I'm also excited to see where our sessions go, because I feel like I'm going, my whole world's going to open up mentoring with her, and... I don't know. I just hope you guys check her out because I feel like she's got a lot of things she hasn't even tapped into yet. Um, I think we all do. And I felt like this. I don't. I want your guys' opinion because I've kind of felt. I it felt there for a while. There was like, I think it was around July till now. There's just been a lot of rapid downloads, a lot of different energies and things have been manifesting more quickly, but it's only when you truly desire it. It's not like what I said earlier. It's not what you think you want. It's what you truly need and want. So it's a balanced energy. So it comes quickly and you're like, whoa, am I ready for this? And spirit's like, you need to be ready. You need to, you know, stop procrastinating and get yourself ready. So I feel... That's the energy that's been around this veil thinning, at least for me this year. And I wanted to see what your theme was and everything. But I will be back, guys. Thank you again for watching my channel and leaving suggestions and comments, subscribing, liking, and sharing. It means a lot. And I hope to do more content with um, talking about my mentorship with Mina and also, I will leave her links down below, and I hope to do some almost like collaboration videos with her soon. That would be awesome. So I just wanted to come on here, and I'd love to see your videos if you have an altar, or what your goals are for, you know, up to Halloween, the Witch's New Year. I think... I am going to sit down tonight and really think about my goals, but I don't want to have very many. I might have two or three, and that's it, because I don't want to overwhelm myself. I feel like that's what I do a lot, so let me know if you guys like this video, and I will be back as soon as I can. I hope you have a blessed Halloween Samhain whenever you celebrate, and I will talk to you guys later. Blessed be.